Hey everybody, I'm Jen, and this is the opensource.com weekly top five video. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash opensourceway, and you can also read the article on the website every Friday afternoon. All right, at number five this week, why open source and enterprise users are natural allies. Mike Bates founded Hot Wax Systems in 1997, and today their CTO chairs the project management committee for Apache OF Biz. They also employ a large number of core committers to that project. So in this article, they talk about how their company has benefited by nurturing and supporting Apache Software Foundation on one end and then sharing project uh, product development efforts back out to the open source community on the other end. At number four, six Arduino projects to play with on Arduino Day. So last Saturday was Arduino Day, and we celebrated by sharing six Arduino projects with you. Alex Sanchez authored that article, and he started out with a great little paragraph that includes some fun facts about Arduino. And that paragraph reads, A lot has changed since the first Arduino board arrived a decade ago. Today, the Arduino family has grown to include more than two dozen low-cost open hardware boards and an active community of over more of over of more than 250,000 tinkerers. At number three, Netflix has more than 50 open source projects. This is an interview with Semi Perwal, a software engineer at Netflix. He will be speaking at the open source conference POSCON this year about Netflix's open source projects. There are over 50 of them. You can check them out at their GitHub, GitHub page and then also, if you live in the Bay Area, you can check out their um, Netflix OSS meetups. They are open to the public. At number two, writer on Netflix philosophy opens up. We regularly spotlight our most dedicated writers on the site. And in this article, I talked to David Both and asked him a few quick questions about his writing experience and his experience in general with open source and Linux. Most notable are his writings on Linux philosophy and his expert advice on installing Linux. You can get a full list of his favorite open source tools and learn more about him in this Q&A. Finally, at number one, Michigan Tech course to build your own 3D printer. This is a great story about Michigan Tech's new course, Open Source 3D Printing. In it, students learn how to build their own 3D printer, which they then build and use to complete their coursework for the rest of the semester. How cool is that? You can imagine at 50 seats, they fill up pretty fast. All right, everybody, that's it for the week. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope to see you next time.